All right, next Patreon request, and this one comes from Brittany Digger, who asked me to do a She-Ra Princesses of Power and Flash Gordon crossover. Oof, I have done so many crossovers today. I need it. Next time I do Patreon requests, it probably won't be... It'll be more topics than crossovers, because this marathon really gets exhausting. But that's uh, not, But aside from that... Um, as always, if you guys would like to have Patreon requests done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon. You guys get the third tier. That allow you access to uh, send me Patreon requests uh, to do here on YouTube, as well as check out all the other stuff on the other two tiers. I know I've been kind of slow on the uh, stuff. I have been a little slow. I will admit, I have been a little slow on the Patreon request on the Patreon centric videos. I did do my review of Deadpool and Wolverine last Friday, but between co the Comic Con news and a few other things in personal life. I did get a little sidetracked, but there will be more Patreon content coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But other than that, I hope you all enjoy this, and let's get started. So the story begins, it's set after the events of uh, the end of She-Ra Princesses of Power, where what has happened is that, you know, magic has been restored, it's being sent out into the universe, it's all good, we're all, like, having a great time, and what unfortunately happens is that... Um, all of that energy that was sent out into the universe did, and also the uh, news that there's also something else going on now that magic has been restored to the universe there's also news across the galaxy that Hordak Prime is dead. Hordak Prime he, uh, Hordak Prime, you can go see him no more um, he's dead he's no longer, you know a threat to anyone or anyone trying to create their own cosmic empire. Someone by the, like the name of Ming the Merciless now, Ming um, has, was a competitor to Hordak. He and Hordak were try, uh, like, trying to take as many planets as they could. There was even like skirmishes against the two forces. But eventually they did kind of like... Um, it was becoming like who gets more power controls the universe. But now that Hordak Prime and his clones are dead, Ming can now like uh, continue. And he's curious about where all this magic is coming from. So Ming begins his his um, attack. On, he he heads to Etheria, where the source of all this energy sources, all this energy is coming from. That he quantifies the magic as, as energy, and proceeds to um, muster his forces to head to um, to head to Etheria. However, during all this. Of course, Flash Gordon catches wind of uh, of, of Ming's uh, opposition and attempt to take another world. So Ming, along with his allies, uh, are like, "Well, we can get there faster than Ming's, you know, than Ming's army." So let's go. So Flash Gordon, so Flash and, uh, goes on his ship and heads to Etheria. He gets there first. But he's not, like, he doesn't, the problem is, is, like, the moment Flash gets there, he's just kind of like, oh, I didn't think this through. I, they probably, like, he sees the tech they're using, and they're not exactly, like, deep space, uh, spacefaring people. So, they're kind of like, oh, well, this will surely not, uh, this is, uh, this is probably not gonna go well for me, because they probably might think I'm some kind of invader like Hordak was. And sure enough, the moment he um, he uh, arrives, he gets attacked by Catra and, and uh, Scorpina. Uh, Scorp uh, yeah, Scor uh, Scorpia and Catra just dogpile Flash. He tries to fight them until Adora is like, guys, knock it off, come on, you know. He we don't know who this guy is, and he's like, my name's Flash Gordon, quarterback. Quarterback? here like i what's a quarter is that a kind of coin do you want it back why do you want it why do you want quarters back no it's a never mind i'm uh, you know i'm here because i'm here to warn you that my enemy ming the merciless is coming to your planet because you took out hit one of his biggest rivals you know hordak uh, hordak was keeping him or occupied in their little intergalactic dick measuring contest but now he's coming to your planet to begin an you know to begin an attack on your world, we cannot let that happen. I got here first because my ship's faster, but we need to um, set up defenses against Ming's army because they don't call him Ming the Merciless for nothing. 
So that's what happens is that the T uh, like um, Flash and um, the princesses unite and start building like with the tech they've taken from the destroyed Hordax ships. They start building like defenses. Um, they start like just constructing uh, defenses in order to counteract the um, upcoming you know you know like air defense systems like they just make one big air, de air like space shield defense system courtesy of entrapta who's just going completely ham on the situation she's just like i give life to the machine and hordak is just kind of like looking at her like my dear you should really calm down um so that's <laughs> so well so they uh, entrapta and hordak build one giant like space defense system from Hordax weapons as well as can like air to orbit cannons and the moment uh, Ming's fleet arrives the field comes on because Ming orders a def you know a bombardment of the planet leading to shields just kind of bounce uh, the bow uh, the shield um, deflecting the blasts leading to the sh like uh, She-Ra base now Adora she turns into She-Ra and goes all right Let's send it back at him. And sure enough, that's what happens, is that the uh, cannons start firing back at the, uh, at Ming's ships. His fleet is now, getting de is now getting damaged. He's trying to return fire. But the only way to get... Because Ming is a stubborn son of a bitch, and the only way to get him to stop is to go up there and make him. So Flash and Adora take a small ship to head up to, the, uh, to sneak aboard um, Ming's ship, his Ming's flagship. They get aboard, and Adora and Flash, like, announce themselves, and Ming is just like, Of course it was Gordon! So, Ming and, excuse me, Flash and Adora continue to fight their way through the endless hordes of Ming's, ar of Ming's forces until they get to the throne room where they find Ming, and Adora, not Flash, ch uh, challenges, um... Ming to combat and Flash is like, "Are you sure?" No, it's like, "Yeah, I can take him." It's a one, it's one v one combat. The two do battle. Ming uses like his his uh, ring beams. His he's also got a, he has a, uses his sword. The two do a combat, and he's like, "I've heard tales about Shira. Hordak was, you know, Hordak Prime was obsessed with finding you and taking your power. Perhaps I'll take that sword off of your corpse and use it as a, for a new weapon." Maybe I'll even use what you know your loved ones as my slaves and pets. Of course, that gets Adora mighty mad, and proceed she proceeds to like uh, beat down Ming, and Ming now cowering before uh, Shira. Flash goes in and is like, "No, Adora, it's over. It's done. You've beaten him, and you know don't become him." So Ming is f like Adora is like, "I don't play that game," but here it is. so she's like, "Look." I will take your head off your shoulders unless you withdraw your forces and never come to Etheria again. And Ming's like, "You have my word." And she's like, "Good." And then, like, and she's like, "To show I'm not kidding," she chops off Ming's ring finger. Um, and she's like, "That's your. Uh, that's the word. Uh, the proof of bond. You know, the proof of your word." So Ming is uh, Ming's fleet is forced to turn around and leave. Flash is, uh, you know, Adora's like, you know, he's not going to stop, right? And he's like, no, that's why I got to keep fighting out there. And maybe when you guys start learning about space travel, you guys can help us fight, you know, Ming's army and put it to an end once and for all. And she's like, why did you stop me from, you know, I could have ended Ming's reign forever. And he's like, no, it only would have created a power vacuum. We have to stop Ming, we have to stop Ming on our, uh, you know, and the galaxy isn't united yet. The galaxy would only create a power vacuum. I have to unite the galaxy first before we take on Ming. And he's like, once you guys learn space travel, you guys can follow me and help me unite the galaxy and create a new era so we can finally get rid of Ming once and for all. So, there, so Flash goes back into space to fight the, uh, you know, the f space fascism. And the story ends there with everyone getting ready for trying to figure out a ship to create space travel. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much she -Raw, Flash Gordon. I'd like to thank Brittany Digger for this Patreon com uh, uh, Patreon yeah Patreon request, as well as continued patronage. And you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of it? Comment below, let me know. This is another video that just ran for another 10 minutes. I had about four videos that just ran 10 minutes. How about that? 
But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.